Lifting up Jesus, opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. Hi, this is Tim with Morial TV and Morial Radio here with James Jacob Prash live in England. Jacob, one of the believers had the question, is North Korea referred to or implied as a great end time power in the last days? There's absolutely nothing in scripture that would make any reference to or even direct allusion to North Korea. The most we could possibly say about the Far Eastern powers is they could come under the broad heading of what the scripture says, kings of the east. Some people have made that argument. The kings of the east uh, or also on the even broader heading, all the nations. But that's as far as we can go. Like the United States, there is no specific mention. Usually, scripture, in fact, almost exclusively, scripture speaks of nations that were known in biblical times. That is, nations around the Mediterranean and the Middle East, particularly the Levant, into southern and south eastern Europe, and into the north um, eastern quadrant of Africa, but not much beyond the wilderness of Baluchistan. Essentially what we're talking about, the known world went from what was an Alexander the Great's empire, from Baluchistan, the wilderness, the desert of Baluchistan, and then west to the Pillars of Hercules, as the Greeks would have called the area around Gibraltar, uh, and the regions of the Middle East, North Africa, and Southern Europe, circulated, uh, circling the Mediterranean Basin. Those are the nations largely focused on in Scripture. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen. Will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo. Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available 
electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.